When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today's video is gonna be possibly very silly and ridiculous, possibly, ew, my hair is in my mouth and I don't like that, slash possibly very useful. I don't know what the outcome is gonna be. So the TikTokers are at it again. I saw this thing a couple of weeks ago. I saw it on multiple accounts. Actually, people were taking, once again, those fake washing machines. <laughs> Uh, fake washing machines and fake dryers and washing AirPods in them. Now, if you guys remember last year, there was this huge trend that went around with the little top load toy washing machines where people were using them to wash beauty blenders. And I myself tried it. It was not very effective, but it was very cute. And it was, it was a very fun video. I feel like I really enjoyed doing that. And you guys seem to enjoy watching that. Well, if you were on my main channel, but very cute, very cute concept for TikTok, but uh, worthless because these don't do anything. These, like, these are actually less effective somehow than the other washing machine that we used because you can't even, like, put water in this. It is just an actual toy. Now, I've seen some on TikTok where it seems like there's water, like, entrapped in this front little screen thing so that it looks like you could load something in it and like maybe me or a young child would be fooled that you're mixing water and airpods i don't know uh but it got me to thinking because you guys know that i used to love to clean and disinfect everything but now oh boy <laughs> i love to clean and disinfect everything and i'm always looking for different more effective ways to clean and disinfect everything right now. Can you see the dark circles under my eyes? Please rate them one to 10 based on my concern of germs. I will go ahead and show you guys my AirPod case. I've actually been, oh my God, I kicked you. I kicked the camera. Are you all right? I have a lot of these cute little uh, novelty cases. I used to get them from Yes Style all the time, but this is the one that I use the most because it is so adorable. It is a little fluffy teddy bear. Um, and also it's really a convenient case because he does have like a little carbiner clip. So it is really convenient to just like strap in my purse. Like normally my purse has one of those things in it, you know, that's like it can hold your keys, but also you can just like clip things to it. Does that make any sense? I'll try and insert a photo. Um, but yeah, I also love the fact that his head like, and then there's your AirPods inside of there. So I do love this little guy, but he is hard in my mind or harder, let's say, than like a traditional like neoprene case that would maybe be like an AirPod case. You know, it's just, it's like carrying a stuffed animal out and about with you. Very, very cute not very cleanly. Oh my god, there's like debris on this washing machine? I don't want to know what that is. I just bought this thing. I just unpackaged this. Ugh! What is that? Can you guys see that? What is that yellow matter? What is that? Is it pee? Don't tell me. I don't want to know. So yeah, I don't, why, why did I buy this thing? Like honestly, I knew this was going to be silly, but you know what? Let's go ahead and just chunk the AirPods in it. And let's see if they will spin around in there because um, this thing does have a drum. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Just chuck your AirPods in there. Close it up so it has a thing to wind on the back. Wait, is this why TikToks are always like, click for part two? Because like no one is actually doing this shit. Okay. Oh my God. It's just making a sad engine whirring no noise. Like look, the drum, it's meant to be spinning but it's like not even really spinning. It's just making sad machine noises. Why did I buy this giant silly washing machine? To just be like, yeah, it doesn't work. Like whoever, whoever would think that would work. But as I was browsing on Amazon, as I do, this product was recommended to me, honestly, probably because I was looking at a bunch of UV sterilizers and I thought it was kind of interesting and I hope that it's gonna work out for me for a multitude of things so I don't know if this works I thought maybe it would be like a good little tip for you guys like I've read so many tweets of people who are confessing that they are Clorox sanitizing the container of sanitizer wipes so for all the other germaphobes out there I thought maybe this would be an interesting product to you guys as well it's actually meant to clean baby pacifiers 
and it's by Cuisinart, which I thought that they just made like food stuff, like blenders, but did they make UV sterilizers as well. This says that it sanitizes technically like bottle nipples and pacifiers, and I don't know what a nipple shield is, but supposedly in six minutes it kills 99.9% .9 of germs, bacteria, and E. coli. Now, I think it is UVC light, which I heard does kill viruses as well, but I am not a doctor, I am not a scientist, and what I know about this kind of stuff could fit in a thimble. But hey, if it kills 99% of bacteria in E. coli, thank you very much. That's better than nothing. So, I thought maybe this would be good not only for sterilizing AirPods, and I still use, for the most part, when I'm editing videos, like these regular not wireless earbuds, and I thought that it would also be a very, very good tool to use, like, in my beauty area, in my bathroom, for sanitizing beauty blenders and maybe even like small scissors that I use to trim eyelashes, tweezers, all kinds of stuff like that. I don't really know how big this thing is gonna be, so I'm hoping, I know AirPods will fit, but I'm hoping that beauty blenders will as well because I've been trying to think of more effective ways to sanitize beauty blenders. I do the microwave trick, but some people say that like that can make them grow more bacteria. I don't really understand how. So I've been thinking about that a lot ever since we tried that other TikTok hack of steaming beauty blenders in the whole like egg thing. And so I don't know, is this gonna be better than steaming them? Maybe, I don't know. <gasps> oh my God, is this battery operated? Yeah. Yes, I literally thought that I was gonna be able to plug it in. But wow, this is like even more convenient, in my opinion, honestly, that it's battery operated. I do not know when the next time I will be going to Disney World is, but I would love to be able to take this with me to honestly like keep my beauty blenders in here, store them, clean them, because there is nothing dirtier in my mind than like a hotel countertop. Maybe that's just me. So this is what the device looks like and it has like a little Star Trek slide open thing. Doesn't it look like literally beam me up Scotty? That is all I can think of when I look at this thing. So I guess it takes six minutes and batteries are not included. So let me go find some triple A batteries. I feel like that's like kind of rare. Okay, I'll be right back. That was a 30 minute battery struggle. I put them in, but I didn't read the instructions because there is a tiny little power button on the side here. I thought I got dud batteries. I didn't know you have to like hold the button for two seconds. Kind of have to hold it for a little while. That honestly feels like more than two seconds. I think it's glowing now. The light is not as bright as I thought it would be, or maybe it's just because I had like the, like there's many, many lamps in here. So I turned off the front lamp. God, you really, you have to hold it down for a while. So there we go. I actually like that the sterilizer, I feel like this is kind of like a sunglasses situation, is like a tinted protective thing here so that your eyes aren't just like exposed to UV light. And then the little power button here is also glowing blue. The other thing that I just read in the manual that I thought was really neat is I'm actually gonna be able to put larger items in this bay here because these are meant to grip onto the sides of a pacifier to hold it in place. But since I'm not gonna be disinfecting any pacifiers in here, these are actually just like little silicone insets that you can remove and place larger objects inside to sterilize. So let's see. Yeah, a beauty blender. I'm glad that that was dirty. I wonder if I should have left these little <laughs> inserts in here. I wonder if it would have held the beauty blender in place better. These are kind of tricky to push back in. They've got like these little stoppers. I don't know. Um, I definitely can fit a beauty blender in there. I have this diamond real techniques sponge. I don't think I could put two beauty blenders in there and these are dry, of course, so they take up less space. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that little guy in there and I'm gonna set him to sterilize. Woo, there he goes. Do you guys think that this is like a goofy idea? Do you think that this is a good idea? So he has to sit in here for six minutes now. And I mean, I guess it would be 
sterilizing the whole surface. I mean, I guess the only bad thing is, is like where these little rubber things would hold a pacifier in place so that all sides, you know, like it wouldn't be resting against the base, like how the sponge is. Hopefully what I'm saying is making any sense, but like the beauty blender is not like levitating inside of the device. So that's kind of my only thing. I mean, I guess I'm like rolling it around in here. So is that making sure all surfaces are getting sterilized? Do you guys think that this is a stupid idea? Is this a good idea? Sometimes I can't tell. This is one of those things like microwaving a beauty blender. I mean, it's not 100% like confirmed that this is a wonderful idea or a wonderful solution to anything, but does it make me feel a little bit better? Yes, it does. Okay, six minutes are up and it doesn't feel warm or anything. Is it clean now? Not that I just touched it with my dirty, filthy hands, but what do you guys think about this? Does this, does this make sense? I am going to stick my little headphones in here next and test these out. They are a tangly, tangly mess. Sometimes I leave them in the bed and then I kick them in the night with my toes. Does anybody else ever get these kind of headphones like tangled up in their toes? Is that TMI? Is that just disgusting? Is that a phenomenon that happens to anyone else but me? So yeah, once it's like touched my feet, it is filthy and vile to me. So I keep forgetting to press for two seconds. That's honestly like kind of annoying. So I'm putting these in here. I have heard with other UV sterilizers that they are good for electronics. I actually have a bigger video like this coming out on my main channel. I've been working on it for a while, but it's, it's supposed to be like a bigger sterilizer for like phones, electronics, tablets, and stuff like that. And I'm going to be honest, like I am a little bit nervous about that. I don't know why. I know that there are some special machines and devices for UV sterilization with phones. Let's say there's a device called phone soap where you can actually charge your phone and sanitize it in a UV sterilizer at the same time. Now, I don't know what the difference would be. Maybe it's just like the strength of the actual UV bulb inside, because I think with devices like phone soap, you have to leave your phone shut in there, sterilizing and charging for 30 minutes. So I don't know what the difference is between this one only taking six minutes and another one taking 30 minutes, but I don't know. Like that's where I've kind of like heard some different bits of information because some people say before you put electronic devices in or around UV sterilizers, you are meant to shut them off, which maybe I should honestly Google this because I don't know how to turn an AirPod off. I just thought that they were either charged or dead. I didn't know that off was an option. I don't think I've ever turned mine off in as long as I've ever owned them. That's why I kind of wanted to use these old guys as a guinea pig. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I was like expecting, like a small fire or sparks or something, but so far so good and I haven't heard any crackling or anything. So maybe you guys can like give me some information if you've heard anything about this, because that seems to be like conflicting information. Like some of the UV ster sterilizers say turn the devices off, but then, well, I guess your, I guess your phone could be off and charging, but that just seems like kind of mixed information going on there with like charge your phone and sanitize. Am I just making that up? But that seems like there would be like electrical currents, obviously like going to the device while it's sterilizing versus just being like completely turned off. So does anybody, anybody have any information on that for me? Is anybody else out there like into UV sterilizers? I know that people have to be because every single day most of this stuff seems sold out. The larger device that I'm going to be talking about on my main channel, I bought months and months and months ago, and it seems to kind of be like it'll go out of stock, and it'll come back in stock for like a couple of hours. It's like getting these things and like an Animal Crossing switch. It's like your odds are like, it's like winning the lottery. I also think that it is kind of interesting to maybe look into these alternative means of like cleaning things, especially when like, I don't know about how it is for you guys, but like also getting like Clorox wipes or Lysol or any kind of like traditional sanitizer products that I'm used to just being able to truck on down to Walmart and 
pick up as many as I'd like. Uh, those are obviously like sold out everywhere as well. So it's just kind of like maybe thinking of alternate ways to keep items clean if that is a concern for you. I don't know. I feel like I was like this before everything started and now I don't know if I'm worse. I don't know if I'm worse or just about the same as I've always been. Um, I guess the feelings like come and go. I don't know. I don't want to talk about all that stuff. I don't want to think about all that. Okay. Now these guys, they're fresh and clean. Yeah, they're not warm at all. The beauty blender I had let sit in there for probably like 30 seconds after the six minute timer was up, but these just went off and they're fine. They seem to be fine because these are honestly like of questionable quality. I feel like I've had these things forever. Okay, now I'm like smelling a smell. What am I smelling? <laughs> oh, that's weird. I don't want to be smelling burnt plastic. I don't know what that is. Am I going to risk my AirPods? Can this go wrong in some way? I don't know. Let's close it up. Let's close them up. I'm going to rust them like that, I guess. I don't know. Oh, why am I nervous to push the button? This is like the final countdown. Okay. I mean, nothing, nothing seems to be happening. I mean, I know that they use like UV sterilizers and UVC sterilizers like in airplanes and stuff where I'm sure there is much, much more. I thought I heard a noise. Am I making stuff up in my head? I don't know. I mean, I know that they use like sterilizers like this around equipment all the time. So I don't know why you couldn't sterilize a simple AirPod, but I'll see you guys in six minutes and I'll let you know if a strange smell persists. All right. And my AirPods are done. Now I was just looking at the reviews and I did see a couple of other people claim that there was a little bit of an odor. Most people I read said that there was like a metallic odor and I don't really know what I'm smelling. It's not that pungent. I haven't been outside today, but that's what I was gonna say it smells like personally, which I know sounds weird. Now I sound like one of those candle companies that I've made fun of for years where they're like, oh, this candle smells like snowflakes and angels. But literally when I opened it up after sanitizing my headphones, it smelled like an outdoors smell. Do you guys know what I mean? Like if you're outdoors for a while and you come back in, it's not like a body odor smell. It just literally smells like earth. Just whatever earth smells like. It had sort of an earthy smell. But I know that a lot of like lamps and stuff, like when I buy new studio lighting or like even when I've bought aught lamps and stuff in the past, they do kind of like as they're heating up and as you use them for a while, they do just kind of have like a smell to them. But eventually that smell wears off. Most of the time, I think the smell is like a melting plastic smell. And so in my mind, that's probably what the smell is. It's probably not a smell that would persist the longer that you use this thing but I don't know hopefully you guys think that this video is interesting or helpful in any way as I was reading the reviews I saw a lot of people buying this and using it for alternative purposes like I read a lot of people use them for menstrual cups car keys yeah oh my god there is like an earthy outdoor smell I <laughs> I don't know um I did see other people say airpods headphones and then like things things for kittens i don't know i don't know what but a lot of people were saying that they loved how convenient it is even with the batteries loaded in it's really lightweight so i could see that if you did want to use this for like makeup sterilization purposes like for sponges or i don't know other applicators i'm not sure how much would fit in here but yeah it seems like maybe a lot of people were suggested this product who were doing the same as me like looking for other cleaning products other sterilizers and some of those are sold out like I don't think phone soap has been in stock for months now and so I think people just want to have this and give it a go for other small items I mean I feel like you could sterilize anything that would fit in here so I don't know also it's like $14 so it's very very nominal in my opinion and if you're like me you just like want something to give you extra peace of mind like obviously I don't know I mean is it cleaner I have no guarantee do you know what I'm saying but it does I feel like it does give me peace of mind and um I'm sure a lot of other people feel that way too I mean even though like I did see some people leaving it a negative review because they're like well it doesn't look any cleaner I mean obviously like it's not gonna like clean like you can't put a dirty beauty blender in there and be like oh wow the makeup stains are gone but like if I had just washed them and this was like my final step 
I would see where this would make me feel better. I don't know. Leave me you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. How goofy is this? Is this crazy to you guys? Or are y'all right right here along with me for the for the ride? Thank y'all so so much for hanging out today and for watching. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so so much. And it's time to go eat dinner and play Animal Crossing. I finally got leaf, you guys. I was so concerned because like the update came out like how long ago now and I had gotten red two times and I've had CJ a, like two or three times. I've had flick only one time and I had never gotten leaf. I never got leaf until just now. So I'm very excited to go buy some shrubs and I love you guys so, so much. I'll see y'all later. Bye.